a brief history that who started this whole classification pattern initially i told you that um, there was a system of classifying the living organisms carlos linnaeus and we discussed this all but then we have robert whitaker who divided uh, the bacterial species into one kingdom and the rest into the other fungi were grouped together but there were a lot of loopholes but now i am particularly talking about the bacterial classification so the credit goes to the david burgies and david burgie was a scientist or a bacteriologist who along with his colleague published a comprehensive report about a classification of bacteria that could be used for identification of bacterial species and he named that report or that report is now named as Burgi's manual of determinative bacteriology it was a kind of manual in which at that time all the classified species at that time were grouped together and their characteristics were listed right so this is one of the first collective effort and this manual because of this collective effort of burgies in 1923 it is named as burgies manual of determinative bacteriology so at that time if someone had any unidentified species so this was then uh, a good opportunity to match the properties of unidentified strain with those listed in this burgi's manual and they can be compared and they can be matched and at that time they can be grouped into the group in which most of the properties are matched so but this manual was based on all the phenetic characteristics i told you that what are the phenetic characteristics right but later on there was a lot of development i told you that the data on 16 s ribosomal rna was generated and then in this manual because it was based on the phenetic character so all the clinical pathological species bacteriological species that were of clinical significance they were causing serious infections they were grouped together in a chapter they were grouped together so then after the generation of the data relevant to 16s ribosomal rna the second edition of burgi's manual was published and this manual is named as burgi's manual of systematic bacteriology and it is largely based on 16s ribosomal rna data so we can say that the organisms are grouped according to their genetic or phylogenetic uh, characteristics so this classification is largely phylogenetic so the organisms are grouped according to which branch in a phylogenetic tree they are placed and their groups were made one thing more that in the in this manual one phenetic character was emphasized and that was the gram staining because although it is one of the phenetic character it, it plays a great role in the phylogenetic classification so anyway so since this is on the basis of phylogenetic classification it has more ecological information and about individual taxa and uh, 
since you know that it is on the basis of phylogenetic analysis so in this manual it is not the case that all the clinically important prokaryotes they are in in the same group like in the first edition so in this case because they are all the organisms are placed according to the phylogenetic um, analysis so they are scattered in different groups so today our target is the second edition not the first edition so the second edition of burgee's manual this second edition is divided into five different volumes and we'll discuss all those five volumes so you will see that in the second edition although all the volumes are divided into volumes are divided into five categories based on their uh, gram staining reactions but inside those uh, volumes all of the organisms are pl placed phylogenetic yeah, so there are volume there is volume 1 volume 2 volume 3 volume 4 and volume 5 so volume 1 it comprised of archaea and uh, phototrophic bacteria mostly archaea ye thoda sa unique aur different group hai and inko hum extremophiles bhi kehte hain because they are mostly found in the extremes of environmental conditions and they can survive and they can sustain so they are gram negative in nature volume 2 is named as proteobacteria they are also gram negative in nature volume 3 and 4 you see they both comprised of gram positive bacteria but the difference is in the volume 3 those gram positive bacteria are placed to which have low g plus c content now what is now what is g plus c content we have discussed in much detail in the previous classes so in volume 4 those gram positive bacteria are there who have high g plus c content and in volume 5 those gram negative organisms are placed which were not grouped in the volume 1 and volume 2 so jo gram negative organisms baki volumes mein place nahi ho sake hain 1 and 2 unko fir volume 5 mein rakha gaya to iski volume 5 ki jo diversity hai it is much more uh comprehensive